This tutorial will familiarize you with the features of the Settings section of the GoFlex Media application. One of the first screens you'll see after launching the application is the My Satellite homepage. Tap on the Settings button on the left side menu bar to display the Settings page. Tapping on the Settings folder on the homepage will display the GoFlex Satellite Settings options available to you from the GoFlex Media application. We'll go through the settings one by one, starting at the top of the page. Restarting your satellite device. You may restart your GoFlex satellite by first tapping the Restart Satellite button. When the Restart Satellite pop-up box displays, tap on Restart. Once restarted, you will need to re-establish the wireless connection between the GoFlex satellite and your iPad. To cancel restarting your GoFlex satellite, tap the Cancel button. Next, shutting down your satellite device. You may shut down your satellite device from the GoFlex Media Settings page. To do so, tap on the Shut Down Satellite button. When the Shut Down Satellite pop-up box displays, tap on the Shut Down button. Tap the Cancel button to continue using your satellite device. Restoring the GoFlex Media Settings If you've made changes to your GoFlex Media application settings, you may return all settings to the factory default by first tapping the Restore All Settings button. When the Restore All Settings pop-up box displays, tap on the Reset button. Tap the Cancel button to leave the settings as they are. Check for updated software. You may check for updated software at any time by tapping the Update Satellite Software button. An Update pop-up box will display, notifying you of any software updates that may be available. To continue, tap the OK button and follow the instructions provided. Changing the name of your satellite device. You may change the name of your satellite as it is displayed in the Wi-Fi settings of your iPad or Android device. After tapping the Change Satellite Name button, a Change Name pop-up box and keyboard will display. Type the new name you wish to use for your satellite in the box provided. When you're finished, tap on the Done button. The new name you've entered for your satellite will now be displayed in the Wi-Fi settings of your iPad or Android device. After changing the name of your satellite device, you may be required to re-establish the wireless connection between your satellite and iPad or Android device. Disconnecting your iPad or Android device from the satellite Wi-Fi network. To disconnect your device from the satellite Wi-Fi network, first tap on the Disconnect from Satellite button. A Disconnect from Satellite pop-up box will display with instructions on how to disconnect from the network. To continue, tap on the OK button and follow the instructions provided on the pop-up screen. Turning a password on and off. You may enable and disable a password for your satellite device. To begin, tap on the Turn on Password button. If you have already set up a password, this button will read Turn off password. A Turn on password pop-up box will display. Enter the new password in the space provided. When you've finished, tap the Next button. Re-enter the password when prompted. When you've finished, tap the Done button. Language. You may change the language displayed in the GoFlex Media application. To begin, tap on the Language button. Next, select the language you prefer by tapping on the language in the list. To view the final settings options, you may need to scroll to the bottom of the settings page. To do this, tap on the right side of the screen. A slider bar will appear. Use the bar to scroll to the bottom of the page. The last settings option is the Stream and Download feature. With the Stream and Download feature turned on, your content will stream directly from your satellite device. Turning the feature off will allow you to view content you've downloaded from the satellite to your iPad or Android device while saving the battery life of the satellite. However, you will still need to use the GoFlex Media application to view the content. This concludes the GoFlex Media Settings tutorial. Thank you for watching.